Peter Goebel has given me the afternoon off and we're going to sneak out and have a look at some sea caves. But I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. You're a long tail, Mr Bush. I think we've got another problem here, Brendan. Someone swapped your outboard motor for a whipper snipper, but uh, we'll do our best. Don't worry about that. Get on the boat, watch your step, though. Do they ever get used for anything else traditionally? Like, does anyone go in there to fish or hunt or...? No, actually, this, these caves, yeah, they've been known to the local people, the fishermen, for hundreds of years. All right. But none of them there go in there. Right, because of the... Our guide today is Brandon Mahavir from Sea Cave Canoes. As you can see, our journey takes us past some pretty breathtaking scenery in the Andaman Sea. Brendan, this is the bulletproof boat. Is it? All right. Ooh. You see? I'm in. Oh, okay. Dirt. Oh, I've got the wet bottom already. <laughs> no one told me I was going to get a wet bottom. So how big are these crocodiles anyway? Well, they grow bigger than this canoe. <laughs> <laughs> they always bite from the middle. <laughs> Fortunately, Brandon was joking, folks. I hope. Southern Thailand has lost its two largest predators, the tiger and the huge estuarine crocodile. There's a fantastic amount of vegetation here. Is that just because you get such a good rainfall? Or? The, the plants themselves have adapted to this um, very rugged environment, you know. Yeah, you can't kind get... Kind of mutated. You can't get much more rugged than a vertical cliff about 400 feet high with that rock. It's yeah. an amazing piece of gear. Our first stop takes us to one of Thailand's most intriguing ecosystems, the mangrove swamps. There are also um, like hundreds of um, palm species here. All right. Palm species. There's a palm pralahu. It's just like a drowned forest. Yeah. Mangrove trees are thought to be land-based plants which have evolved unique features that allow them to colonise the edge of the sea. Many mangrove species rely on protruding roots called pneumatophores, which rise above the mud to absorb oxygen. At low tide, they then excrete the excess salt. So does, is there much tide variation here, Brendan? Yeah, it's about um, a metre. Oh, about a metre. Yeah, OK. It's sticking out of this canoe. As you can see, it can get quite busy here. Too late for the diet, let's hope I fit. Woo! That's a tight squeeze. A warning, when you enter these caves, keep your hands inside the canoe. Some of the rocks can be a bit sharp. Brandon assures me there is light at the end of this tunnel. Wow, look at that. We're actually in a hong, and a hong is just a room in Thai. And what's happened here is that millions of years ago, this was actually a huge cave. And over time, the roof has caved in. So where we are now is just a huge opening, which is covered in the most amazing array of vines and trees and ferns. And it is just incredible to come out of a tiny black hole and come out in something as beautiful as this. Little drops of water come off those walls. And... Yeah, see those big bats already? Yeah, the, yeah, there's a couple of bats been coming around there. Bigger than you think when it when it evens out. Good evening and welcome to the Bat Cave. Sure as my name's Boris Bushy, this is a very scary place. But it's not as you might think. It's not just totally dark and devoid of life. There's a lot of things in here apart from the bats. Tell us a bit about what's really in here, Brendan. Aside from the bats, we have the cave centipedes, cave crickets, cave 
Cape crabs, and um, we even have the Cape snakes. Cave snakes, is that right? Yep. Actually, I've heard there's a thing in here called a striped cave racer, and uh -huh. it's a snake that eats bats. So I think the sooner we get out of this cave, the better. At night, these bats leave these dark honeycomb chambers in search of insects. The drone of wings as the bats leave and the swiftlets enter the same cave will drown out all other sounds. Dusk and dawn are the clocks signalling shift changes between swiftlets and the many species of insectivorous bats. The poor old insects never get a break. Well, thank you very much, Brendan. That was a marvellous experience. You're welcome, Brucey. Anytime. And anytime you folks come over to Phuket, make sure you come and see the guys from Sea Cave Canoe. Come and check this place out. It's absolutely marvellous. And I think we've got some Thai food brewing up on that boat, so yep. we'll see you later.